All right, hey guys, I'm Kathy Reuter and welcome to Team Forever Strong's Coach Basics Call. Tonight is Tuesday, August 29th, and this is our last and final call for this month's Coach Basics. So hope you guys enjoyed it, hope that you really took the time to dive in, take advantage of this training, be a sponge, absorb it, and then have now taken all this information and applied it to your business and take action. The worst thing that you can do is to be too nervous to start and to let fear stop you in your tracks. Inaction breeds fear. So the best thing that you can do is to take action every single day so that you can move closer to your goals. So for those of you who have not heard my story before and don't know who I am, I know we have a lot of new coaches that come onto the team all the time. I just wanted to spend three minutes or so just quickly introducing myself and giving you a little bit of background about me, how I got into this, and what it's done for our family, how it's completely changed our life for us. So I've been doing this now for three years. This is my full-time career. I do this full-time now. I didn't think that I was going to be able to do that when I first started into this, and I never had huge goals when I began. Um, I have two kids right now. Landon and Kirsten. Landon is five. He just started full day kindergarten. I'm really sad about it. <laughs> and Kirsten is three and a half. And, um, oh good, I see somebody's on here. I'm just going to share my story here. So as I was saying, um, I have the two little kids at home, Landon and Kirsten. And when I, when I had Landon, I handed in my paperwork. I decided I was not going to be a teacher because I had been a teacher for 10 years. I had my master's degree in special education and I was teaching primarily first and second grade for those 10 years. But I knew that when I had children, I wanted to be a stay at home mom. That is the only thing I saw myself doing. So even though my husband has a really great job, still when you lose that one means of income, you know it can obviously affect your family and be really stressful, but we were willing to do whatever it took to make things work. So I was tutoring most nights of the week. My husband was working his full-time job on top of running four businesses on the side, and we were just sinking fast. We were sinking so fast, we ended up completely depleting our entire savings account because we were living off of one income. We, were, we racked up $35,000 of credit card debt, and we were sinking by $1,000 every single month. And no one knew that we were struggling with this and that it was that bad and that we were really digging ourselves into a big, big, big hole But um, because we were really embarrassed. So basically what ended up happening was my husband brought it up to me and told us exactly the severity of our situation and said, you're going to need to go back to your teaching job. And at that moment, I was like, there is no way that can happen. Like, I can't let that happen. I cannot bring my kids to daycare and go teach. Like, that's not what I want to do. And I know not everybody wants to be a stay-at-home mom, and that's fine. There's no right or wrong thing. You have to do what you feel is best for your family. But for me, in my heart, I knew that I wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. And so it's funny how things happen in your life and how they come into your life at just the right time. And you can either see it as an opportunity and take a chance and take a leap of faith, or you can kind of be close-minded and not take advantage of it. And it was that weekend I went out on a double date with my best friend from high school. His name is Matt and his girlfriend, Heather, and she was a coach and she told me about coaching. And even though we were both super skeptical, my husband and I, especially Nick, very, very skeptical, um, we sat down and we decided that this is basically my last hurrah. <laughs> you can get into this. We'll give it a couple months. If you don't at least earn your money back for the challenge pack that you have to buy, which by the way, we had to charge on our credit card because like I said at the beginning of this call, I did not have any money in our account at all. Everything that we wanted to do was a swipe on the credit card. So you can try it for a couple months, see what happens. If worst comes to worst, you'll at least get healthier, feel better about yourself because I had 35 pounds I had to lose too on top of it all. So, because I could not get rid of that baby weight. I just could not get rid of it. So I was just feeling like so crappy about myself. 
I was feeling like a total failure. I was feeling like a total disappointment to my family. I just felt like I was like hiding all this stuff from my family just about our situation and where we were because I was so embarrassed and I couldn't believe that I let it get that way. And it was just awful. So it was at that moment that I made a decision and everybody has a decision. You are faced with decisions and choices every single day for small things that you might not even be aware of. So we're all faced with these things and these chances and the opportunity was presented to me. And I can tell you one thing for sure is as soon as I started day one, I never said to myself, I can't do this. I looked at my upline coaches. I looked at Elizabeth Harkey. I looked at Keith Callahan. I saw that they were completely financially free. I saw that they had both left their corporate jobs, that their kids' college education was already set, that they weren't even 30 years old. And I saw this as a huge opportunity and like this big gift that was literally <laughs> right under my nose and it was handed to me. And I could either dive in and treat it like a business or I could be negative about it and question myself and question my ability. And so I think the one reason why I was able to have such success right off the bat was number one, that instead of looking at the other people in the network who had been doing this for four or five or seven years and saying like, oh, well, they just got in at the right time. They've been doing this for so long. Like, well, they're better at this. They had a, um, they had, you know, more friends on their friends list when they started. They clearly knew about marketing. I said, this is awesome. Look what this opportunity can do for us. Look how this can change our life. That is where I need to be, and that is where I'm going, and nothing is going to stop me. I can do this too. They are no different than me. That is how I thought. So I want you to think that way too. I want you guys to think like that, whether it's to your coach, me, somebody else in the network, a top 10 coach. I want you to, to have that belief in yourself today that it doesn't matter what has happened in your past. It doesn't matter where you are right now. That things can change, and this can literally be the gift and the vehicle and the opportunity that can change your entire course of your future. So that was the first thing that really helped me. The second thing was um, I was in a place of desperation. So I did not have a plan B with this. It was not, let's get in. Let's just kind of see if it works. I'm going to kind of just test the waters a little bit. It was, this is it, Kathy. How bad do you really want to be home with your kids? How bad do you really want this to happen and for this to be your life? Because if you want it, you can have it, but it's not going to be easy and you're going to have to fight for it and you're going to have to be patient. And is it worth it to you? And so I was in that state of desperation and I had no plan B. There was no, if this doesn't work, I'll go back to teaching. It was, this is working. I'm going to put in the work for it and it's going to be really rewarding and it's going to change our lives and it's going to most importantly allow me to stay at home with my kids. And when I came into this, all I said to my husband was, if I could just earn a couple hundred dollars every week so that we could just keep ourselves afloat, then I could keep staying home. I wouldn't need to tutor at night like I was doing, and I could just do this, and I knew we would still be in really, really deep trouble financially, but at least I would be making just enough that it would allow me to at least still be home with the kids. And so I got into it. I started with a 21 day fix and I started with Shakeology and um, I started inviting people to do this with me on the night that I signed up. I did not know what a challenge group was. My past experience was with Shakeology was that I hated it and I actually threw the bag out because I had actually tried Shakeology like nine years ago and I started with the original P90X which at the time got me into the best shape of my life back then but I hated Shakeology. So I had the negative experience with Shakeology, I was 35 pounds overweight, I was hardly ever using social media and only had like 300 friends when I started, and I had, I knew nothing about being an entrepreneur or about social media or about marketing or about any of that stuff. And I just, I dove in and I took advantage of the trainings like this with Coach Basics. I mean, I... I took this so seriously as if I was in a college course. I showed up every day. I, I read the post. And actually, this one is way better than the one that I went through over three years ago. This is like top of the line. It doesn't get any better than this one that, that you guys are in. And I was in it. And I was engaged. And I was a sponge. And then I took action and applied it to my business every day, even though I did not feel comfortable. 
and I was nervous and I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I didn't have time to worry about that because I had to, I had to prove to my husband that this was going to work so that I did not have to go back to work. And so I started seeing awesome results with the 21 day fix. I ended up losing like 10 pounds the first round. I lost like nine inches. I was inviting people to do this with me. And then I became addicted to it. I just became straight up obsessed and addicted to it. It really became my passion. I loved it. It's all I ever wanted to do. Um, but I only would work my business at night because during the day I was with my kids and I didn't quit my teaching job to, to bury my face basically in my phone or my computer and build an online business. I gave up that job even after all the schooling and the master's degree and all the teacher tests I had to take to be at home with them. And so at night, instead of sitting down and watching whatever homeland or walking dead, I sat down and I made temporary sacrifices and I focused on this business and I knew that it was going to pay off because I remember my upline coach Keith telling me that you have to read the slight edge and you have to read the compound effect. And this business is exactly like that in that you are going to be doing these small, really insignificant vital behaviors. They call them every day. That is your key to success in this business. And you're going to be doing them day in and day out week after week, month after month. And you're going to feel like it's not doing anything and that nothing is changing but you have to be patient and you have to trust the process and you have to keep your head down and you have to be focused and you have to do these things because it will compound over time and you're going to see significant life changes. And so I was not about to argue with somebody who was a millionaire <laughs> who was at home full time with his four kids and his wife traveling wherever he wanted to do. That's I'm very by the book and by the road. Like you tell me what to do and I will do it. I won't argue, I won't try to tweak, I will do exactly what you tell me to do if that's what I need to do and I'll get it done. And I did, and slowly but surely, slowly but surely, I started helping more and more people. I started getting messages from people, you changed my life, you saved my life. I'm off of this medication because of you. Oh my gosh, I'm back into my pre-pregnancy genes. My confidence is back. And that got me more fired up. Kept going, kept going, kept going. And then by month seven, this is when the compound effect started to happen for me. By month seven, what I was earning with Beachbody was exactly matching what I was earning as a teacher after teaching for 10 years with a master's degree, which was a pretty significant amount. It was about sixty-five to $70,000 at the time. Um, and I was really excited about that because I had no desire to replace my teacher salary. I just wanted to earn a couple hundred dollars. But then as I get into this, I realized, wow, I can actually really go a lot further than I thought with this. And then I started to just envision really Instead of just thinking so small, I started to really think about five years down the line. How do I really want my ideal day to look like? How would I want to live my life? What would that day look like? And really believing the fact that this can lead me to that. So I just kept dreaming bigger. And by one year, just shy of one year, I was a six-figure income earner. And by 15 months in, I was completely debt-free. Like we have no debt at all. Everything's all set. And I was able to. Um, when was it two months ago? I sold our house up in Massachusetts and I moved down here to Florida to our dream home like literally minutes from the beach and I literally put this on my vision board like the first month I became a coach. I put it on there that I would love to live by the ocean because I'm obsessed with the warm weather and palm trees and the beach and all of that and now I've been doing this for over three years and it's just only continues to grow and I've been able to give back to my parents. That's a huge driving force for me, never stopping with this, is the fact that my parents are 70 years old and the clock is ticking and they have sacrificed so much in their life for me and my brother and my sister. And I want to be able to give back to them and to be able to help them and show appreciation and gratitude to them just by being able to send them down here to see us or taking them with us on vacations. Like they've come with us to a couple of the beach body trips already. Like they came with us to Punta Cana we just, we went to that about um, four or five months ago at Beachbody. It was a success club trip, they call it. And we earned it. It was totally free. But I was able to take my parents with us and the kids. And it was a five-star all-inclusive resort in Punta Cana. Um, and then last year was the very first trip I was able to take them on. And that was a cruise on the Oasis of the Seas. And so it's been the biggest blessing, guys, for our family. When they say the sky is the limit with this, I mean, it really is. But 
you got to start small and you have to stay focused and you have to really know what you want and you have to make sure that whatever your goals are in this business are your goals. They're not your coach's goals. They're not my goals. Um, but I also don't want you guys to settle either and sell yourself short just because you're nervous or you're scared of, of failing. Um, one of the things that I think really helped me too was this is a business. So just really wrapping my brain around the fact that you're an entrepreneur now, you're a CEO. So whatever does or doesn't happen with this business is all on you, Kathy. That was really hard for me because there's nobody sitting there telling you what to do, when to do it, right? You are the one that has to do it. All the tools are there for you to succeed. All the you mean, trainings galore. You can go on YouTube. I mean, anything that you could ever need is all right there. But you got to be self-disciplined enough to actually make sure that you're showing up every single day. And guys, this business is so simple. I'm not kidding you. Like, it truly is, I feel like, the best business in the world because you don't have any inventory. You don't have to host parties or any of that other stuff. Literally, you can do this from anywhere on your phone, um, in an airplane, in a hotel, when you're traveling, on your computer. I mean, sitting in the car waiting for your kids to get out of school. You can be building your business and working on your business. And this is the only business in the world where you can grow this guys to a point where you could stop working and your paychecks would still keep coming in because now you're earning residual income. And this is the big income that ends up changing your life where you can take a maternity leave for however, whatever, just, I'm just going to say four months as an example, right? And not really do much for this business and your paychecks will still keep coming in. And so that's the beauty, that's the beauty really of this. So it boils down to like your success in this business. I'm going to go over just really briefly. And I know we're learning about it in Coach Basics is really the four vital behaviors. And you're going to hear people talk about that all of the time. And my coach, I remember him telling me, you need to do these, these things every single month. You got to do these things every single day, every week, every month. And you will build a business. And I remember saying, that's it. That seems really easy. And he's like, that's it. And I'm like, really? And he's like, yes. He's like, sounds easy, doesn't it? I'm like, yeah, it sounds like way too easy. <laughs> and he's like, well, it is easy. But the thing is, it's just as easy to, to not do this as it is to do it. And a lot of times people will make excuses and reasons of why they don't need to show up and do these little things every day. And you have to be the person that decides that I am in control of my life. I only have one life. I am changing things and I'm going to show up every single day because everybody was brought into this business for a reason. And this is the chance now for you to be able to go and really create a ripple effect and change things drastically guys, drastically in ways that you could never even imagine. So the four vital behaviors, the first one is invite, invite, invite. And I'm going to say them all really quick and then I'll briefly just go over them. But the first one is invite, invite, invite. The second one is be proof the product works. The third one is personal development. And then the last one is recognition. So invite, invite, invite just means, and if you want to think of inviting as sharing, all it means is that you are behind the scenes every day, private messaging people, inviting them along on this journey with you. Just a simple thing, like when you're having conversations with people behind the scenes, getting to know them, building relationships, all the action goes down behind the scenes um, in private messages, by the way. I built this entire thing to six figures in just under a year, just by having conversations with people in private messages. It was not my, it wasn't videos, I wasn't doing videos, then are you kidding me? <laughs> I was not doing videos, I was not doing workout videos, I wasn't even that great with posting, but the one thing that I did times 10 was talk to people every single night behind the scenes. I would talk to them about their day. I would talk to them about things that they were posting. I would ask them questions and then I would invite them along with me. I'd say to them things such as, Hey, listen, you know, I have 35 pounds that I have to lose. I cannot get rid of it. I'm going to be starting with this 21 day challenge group with a small group of people. It's an online support and accountability group. And I really need support. And I'm really looking for like five to 10 people who want to do this with me. Would you be interested in doing this with me? Or would you be interested in hearing more about it? That is all I said. 
it wasn't this long thing about Shakeology and the 21 day fix and beach body on demand and spamming people. It was me sharing with them that I had a goal that I wanted to achieve and that I wanted support and I wanted to do it with people. So bringing people along with you on your journey is the most effective way to start to build your business. I have a lot of times hear people say that they don't want to start to build this business and invite people and actually do these things because they're not at their health and fitness goals. And I think that is the biggest mistake people make because the absolute best time to start this business and to really start building it is when you are not at your goal weight because you are way more relatable. You are way more relatable when you are on the journey versus when you're at the end and you have the eight pack. That's not relatable. People can relate to the mom that is not getting any sleep, to the mom who doesn't even have time to make a meal and is picking off of the kid's food, to the mom who doesn't think that they can actually spend any time on themselves to get a workout in. People can relate to now watching you on your journey, showing them that it is possible to make this happen and for them to get healthier again and to feel better about themselves. So I was really relatable because I had a four month old at home and I had a 22 month old at home when I first started this. And I was tired and I was nursing my daughter around the clock all night still. And then my son was up every single day around 5.30 at the latest six. And I was showing people that this was possible and inviting them along with me, do this together. So invite, invite, invite. It just means that every day you're doing that. And we tell our coaches that you should be inviting, like explicitly inviting them, not just like, let me know if you want to join or let me know if you'd be interested, but saying, do you want to hear more about this? Do, will you do this with me? It's going to be so much fun sharing that excitement to at least three to five people every day. That's the key. If you're not behind the scenes inviting, you won't build a business. You won't because even if your social media is on point and you are sharing and you are getting vulnerable, people don't come to you at the beginning. They do not come to you because right now as a brand new coach, they are watching you to see if you are credible, if you're reliable, and if you're trustworthy. And they're watching you to see if you're going to show up every single day because when they are ready to get started on their journey, they are going to go to the coach who they know they can count on no matter what, no matter what that other, no matter what that coach has going on in their life, they know that they can count on you. So you have to prove to these people that you're going to be there for them. I can't tell you how many coaches I've had come to me who have said that, um, that they really wanted to sign up with this other coach, but then they stopped posting on social media and they didn't really know if this person was still a coach or not. So they came to me because they've been following me and they know that I show up every single day. So you have to be that consistent person that shows up every day, no matter what, because it's for your future challengers, for the future coaches you're going to be able to bring onto your team, for the future people who you are going to help get started on their health and fitness journey. For all those reasons, you have to be doing that. People didn't start coming to me until I was over a year in the business. People actually started to come to me on, on their own, and I was able to hit Success Club every month by just at least having three people come to me who said, hey, what was that 21-day thing that you're sharing or that you told me about a long time ago? I'm ready to do it. So that's number one for the vital behavior. The second one is be proof that products work. And that does not mean that you're at your goal weight. It just means that you are drinking your shake every day and that you're in a challenge week and that you are 150% invested into, um, into this program, that you're not cheating on the weekends, that you're not you know, following it Monday through Friday and then Saturday through Sunday following off, like really giving it all you've got so that you can get some awesome results. Because when you do, your confidence is going to go through the roof. And then you're going to want to share this with other people every day. And that's how I felt. I was feeling so good about myself. I was like, every single mom needs this in their life because it can help them. And I know it can. And so your belief goes through the roof and your confidence goes through the roof. And then that is where you start to build momentum. And momentum is everything in this business. The third thing is personal development. And this was something that I didn't really take seriously at the beginning, but you can only grow so far without personal development. And you have to be willing to want to work and improve yourself in order to help other people. And so that's why we always tell people to start either with the compound effect or the slight edge, and that you're doing at least 20 minutes a day reading that. 
And a really great tip is as you're reading it, if it's the actual book, highlight it. Or if you're listening on Audible, have a notebook out, jot down the really important things, and then guess what? You can turn that into a really awesome post on social media where you can add value. You can tell people that you're reading this brand new book called Compound Effect and that you learned something new. And that will actually help somebody else. And that is our job as coaches, is to help at least one person every single day, to inspire and to motivate. It's not about making a sale. If you inspire and you motivate and you're authentic and you're adding value every day and you truly want to try to help other people and you're really trying to build real relationships with people as if they were your friends, no matter what, whether they buy anything from you or not, the income comes naturally. It's never forced and it never feels icky and it never feels weird. Okay. Um, and the last fail behavior is recognition. And that's basically just as soon as you start helping somebody, whether it's a coach or whether it's a challenger, that you're there to support them, recognize them in the challenge groups. Hey, I'm so proud of Amanda. She pressed play today for the first time. Let's cheer her on. Hey, I'm so proud of Amanda. She lost two pounds this week. She's feeling great. Her energy is up. I'm so excited for her. Hey, I just brought on my first active coach. Her name is Liz. And she just helped her first person get started on their health and fitness journey. Let's put our hands together for her. You want to be praising and encouraging the people that you are helping, whether they're challengers or coaches. Okay. So those are the four vital behaviors. It is those four things as simple as they sound that will help you build a business. And just remember that we are here for you every single step of the way. I'm here for you. Your coach is here for you. The team is here for you. You have endless, endless trainings and information online and on YouTube that you can find that can help you get to wherever you want to go. But you are your own CEO. And at the end of the day, it has to be you who wants to truly change your life. And you have to be willing to fight for that and know that you can get there. You will get there. And the only way to fail is if you either quit or you just simply don't do anything. So hope you guys have an awesome night and thank you so much for being here. Bye guys.